Hello there. Hey there guys, Unofficial Lego here. I hope you're all doing well, and in this video I am going to be talking about the Lego Ghost. It was recently revealed about a week or so ago, so I am kind of late on this, but this is the Ghost plus the Phantom 2 set number 75357, retailing for around $170 here in the United States, releasing on September 1st, and it's available for pre-order now on Amazon. The set includes four minifigures, five if you want to count Chopper, and as we already all know, this set is going to be based off of the upcoming Ahsoka Disney Plus show. Now, I had heard about this as a rumor for the longest time now for the last couple of months. I didn't believe it until I was going to see it, and I'm seeing it, and it looks it looks great compared to the one that we got almost a decade ago in 2014 that's based off of the Star Wars Rebels animated show. This one is about around the same size, and of course, it's just about the same design. It's the same ship and everything like that. However, its price is hiked up a lot more. Comparably, the one that was released in 2014 retailed for a whopping only 90 bucks here in the United States, which isn't bad at all. But you gotta count in inflation and that that was almost a decade ago, and I don't think that that version included a Phantom 2 as well, but I could be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments. As for the minifigures included in this set, we have Hera Syndulla, I think is the main character, the main centerpiece that a lot of people are probably gonna go after for this set, as well with her son, Jason Syndulla, who has a new makeover. He doesn't have the green eyebrows or the green hair that we see in the Rebels animated show towards the end of the show. We then also have two generals that are included in the set. I don't necessarily know their names, but I know that they appear in the trailer. So I have some side characters to throw in there. Not bad at all. And then also the inclusion of Chopper is always welcome and great. It's nice that they mix it around and that they didn't like throw in like a repeat character necessarily. Um, as in maybe having Ahsoka included in this set. And then also in the T6 Jedi shuttle that we're also supposedly supposed to be getting. And just around the corner. So it is for sure great that they're mixing things around and giving it some uniqueness. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments down below. Are you guys pre-ordering it? Do you Have you already pre-ordered it? Or are you going to get it on its release date? I would love to hear what you guys all think in the comments down below. Guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching today's video. This has been Unofficial LEGO. Peace out.